Agreements between Israel and local municipalities could prevent the loss of large volumes of water through leaks. Israel has reduced its losses to less than 10% using advanced technology. The technology was showcased at the Nampo Harvest Festival in Boutaville in the Free State. South Africa loses up to 30% of its piped water through leakages, amounting to about 7 billion rand annually. The Northern Cape and Free State are the biggest culprits, with 52 and 45 percent losses, respectively. It prompted the War on Leaks flagship program aimed at training 15,000 young people to become water agents, artisans and plumbers. Israel is using modern technology to minimize losses. When we realized that a big part of our water problem comes from losing water through the infrastructure, there were many systems developed. They include acoustic sensors which uh, can help listen to the water flow and understand from that where you're losing water. Using sensors and big data, all the data you have, collecting it together gives you new insights to where the problems are or even where the problems are about to start. Satellites with satellite imagery telling you where you have leaks. Israel says it's in talks with some municipalities about the possibility of a buy-in. Ordinary consumers will also benefit. You use smart monitoring and then for every customer you know his baseline and how much he's supposed to use. If he's suddenly losing a lot of water, you don't wait until he gets a big water bill and comes running. He will get an SMS from the municipality or, or the water board saying, what's going on? Why are you using so much water? Have you opened a water theme park? And, and then he can, he can call a plumber, he can find the leak way before he gets the bill after a month or two. The working agreement between Israel and South Africa will be a win-win situation for both countries as water is becoming more scarce. Bali Samuel, DSABC News, Boutaville.